Hello friends and welcome back to another BGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Leo, also known as Osiris, and uh, we're going to be continuing on with the Lapras, the G-Max Lapras team that we started off with earlier in the week. So I'm just literally continuing on from where we left off in that last match against the uh, G-Max Charizard Wolves team that he had for Series 2. If you want to check that episode out, go up here and click through and, um, and check that out before coming into this one. If not, then we're going to get straight into it with our first opponent up as a good old mate over here, playing a team of uh, a lot of Ninetales. Titar, Excadrill, Rotom Wash, Togekiss, and the Ferrothorn. So we're running that team that we ran earlier in the week, which was the Excadrill, the Rotom Heat, the Togekiss, Whimsicott, the Hitmontop, and the Lapras. So, hmm, can we just go for the Lapras Hitmontop here? We probably can. Uh, we've got to be a little bit careful around the Rotom. Um, yeah, the Rotom's a little bit of an issue. Because it can just max lightning us, but I, I, we're so bulky, we can we can pretty much. I I think I'd be I'd be quite happy just taking that. So we'll go with this lead up top. What do we want in the back? Hmm, probably Excadrill and uh, Rotom Heat, Rotom Heat, Rotom Heat. Oh yeah, I think we're Rotom Heat. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. So. And we'll just wait for our good old mate over here just to lock in. I would imagine they probably may want to go with their their nine tails so they can get their own Aurora Veil up. Um, other leads I kind of expect would be the Rotom and the Togekiss. I feel like that probably is pretty decent against us. Um, and there's always an argument there for us to lead maybe Lapras Excadrill in that situation. So we've got a nice option against both. The Togo Kids and the Rotom, if it does come out, it's not a bad option against Tyranitar and things like that. It just slows down our momentum with Lapras. I feel one thing with how we're running this Lapras is we kind of want to get going very quickly with it. Uh, we do see the Nine Tails and the Rotom come out for my opponent. So I'd imagine the Rotom to go for it's, uh, to Dynamax and go for Max Lightning. Uh, so it means we don't need to proc our own weakness policy at least. Um, I'm gonna fake out the nine tails, I think, and go. I don't really want damage, really. Mm. Probably more damage I want onto the Rotom, to be honest. Uh, we could go for Max Lightning. It's worth getting our, our resonance up, though, uh, just to get the Aurora Veil up. Um, and I think just to cover their Aurora Veil going up this turn, just so we get a little bit more damage, I'll go for the nine tails fake out there. I don't want to regret not going for it and then get their their aura veil up and that damage in the end game kind of costing us, uh, which it could do. So you've got to kind of think of the end game even at the start of the game. I feel like it's always good to like think about these things because you've got a certain amount of damage you need to do to your opponent's team. If you can start getting that damage off sooner, it does make the, the, the game a bit easier as you get a bit deeper into it, if that makes sense. So there's the Rotom going for it to max. Dynamax, I should say, um, and it's probably going to go for the, the Max Lightning into Lapras. But in the process of doing this, it will proc our weakness policy. We should take it pretty comfortably. I want to say pretty comfortably. I think we'll take it comfortably. Like, I would imagine it probably does about 40%. Like, if it does 40%, I'll be happy. If there's more than that, we then need to stop worrying a little bit. We may need to adjust him on top to maybe Excadrill next turn, Max Guard, so we've got something in to at least deal with the Rotom a little bit better. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what this damage output is. Ooh, it's Max Geyser. Ah, into him on top. Wow, okay, it doesn't want to activate our weakness policy. It's pretty obvious that it doesn't want to do that. Okay. Ah. They know what we're going to do with our Brick Break. <laughs> that's why they're going for the top. Huh. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Who knows, eh? Um, hmm. I think I probably want to get rid of... Like, the Rotom isn't a massive concern of mine because I do have the extra girl in the back. I want to stop them getting their... Um, their Aurora Veil up 
permanently. So I'm gonna break break and I'm gonna go for um fast lightning. Just to get the, the terrain up as well. Uh we don't need to worry about the rotom, it's not on the ground, so it's not getting the, the terrain boost, so we're not like being counterintuitive. Counterintuitive here. Um I could go for the geyser, but I don't feel like we're gonna need that much damage to get the, the nine tails. Uh, and if something like Rotom switches in on that slot, then at least we're getting some nice damage there as well. Um, and it should be enough. I think we'll see the. Ooh, he's dry. Well, there's our weakness policy procced. No. Of course it's not. No, it's not super effective. There's our weakness policy procced. Uh, I still think my opponent would have been better going for the Max Lightning uh, the first turn. It's interesting that they haven't even went. Well, they can't go for their Aurora Veil vale now that the. Um, the rain's up, of course. Okay, there's a brick break, and yeah, we're gonna have way more than enough to take down this nine tails and get rid of that option for my opponent. Okay, so let's see where we go from here. What they're gonna bring in? Maybe Titar, Excadrill. Hmm. Maybe the Togo Kiss though. Okay, just to disrupt the weather. Um, hmm. I think Hitmon Top's in a really nice position here to actually. We could potentially get the T-Tar. T-Tar could protect though. That's the only issue. Um, so we might be better off going for the Lightning into. Nah, I don't really. I'd rather concentrate down on the. the yeah, the T-Tar. Like honestly. The t is probably going to protect, and it's probably going to get its weakness policy up, but I still don't feel too bad about doing this because we do have Excadrill in the back. Like, that's what I'm just thinking. Like, we get Excadrill in, we've got the Earthquake we can take advantage of. Before I do the rental team, I'm probably going to change the Earthquake to high horsepower. So there's Max Lightning coming out again. We don't see the protect from the t -tail. We do take that. Hopefully we out with him on top. Maybe we do, maybe we don't now. Uh, we do. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> but we do our speed. Yeah, okay. It's got the Pasho Berry, it looks like. Is it the Pasho Berry? Yeah. But we do our speed for Tito, so that's fine. Uh, we get rid of that, which helps out our Togekiss a bunch. Because uh, Togekiss doesn't really worry about Rotom, especially when it's not Dynamaxed. Especially when you've got Excadrill set next to you. Um, so that's kind of the end, the, the board game that we want to try and get ourselves into. Excadrill, Togekiss. Uh, and we should be able to close things out with that. Um, okay, we've got extra drill of my opponents. I think the thing that we want to do here is just get a, a Mac punch off onto the extra drill and probably try and get a perish song up. Because there's a chance that my opponent tries to get rid of the, the hitmon top now with a hydro pump. And I think hitmon top, uh, I don't know if we'll take a hydro pump, but they do do that and protect. The Excadrill to maintain their sash, then we do get the Parasol up. But I'm not going to see that. Do get the Mac Punch off, break the sash anyway, so that's nice. Oxlide going to take down Lapras, and I'd imagine we kind of want the, the Rotom to take down Hit on top here because we want that ball position that we were talking about earlier the Total Kiss Excadrill. There we go, perfect. And top will go down. Top! <laughs> Why won't you go down? Um, all right. Oh, we haven't got the toga kiss. Okay, but it still doesn't really matter too much because, yeah, we just we just earthquake now. We mac punch earthquake, and that's that's game. Okay, toga kiss would have been better, better than the rotom. Uh, but did they have ferrothorn? Is that why we bought the rotom? Can't remember. Can't remember. Anyway, we'll just earthquake. It literally doesn't matter what we do now. Honestly, it really doesn't. We'll go for the map punch into the um, into the Rotom. And the battle is cancelled. So, good game to my opponent. Nice win for us to kick off with today. Good old matey boy over there. Um, and hopefully we can get a couple of wins today. That'd be nice. That'd be nice to get us off to um, a couple of wins to end the week on. Because we, we were 1-1 one one on Tuesday. 
Uh, so it would be nice to just kind of pick back up and finish at least nicely positive for the week with this team before we end up with it. And uh, of course, we'll be back with a new team next week to test out. If you've got any suggestions that you'd like to see played next week, do leave them down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are and uh, I'll definitely take them into consideration when picking a team to play next week. So we've got our next opponent, Ewan, playing a team of Duraladon, Incineroar, Raichu, Windsor Alola Ninetales and Gyarados. Hmm, okay. Aurora Veil gonna come out again. The Duraladon's a little bit of an issue. Um, kind of makes me want to lead more extra drill because it does so well against like uh, the Incineroar, the Duraladon, the Raichu, the Wimmy, the Ninetales to a certain extent. Um, but this is all about G Max Lapras, so we're gonna go that way. Uh, I will bring Excadrill in the back, but what's our fourth Pokemon gonna be? Probably the, probably the Rotom, I think. Uh, they do have Tailwind, but I, I feel confident that we can get ourselves around the Tailwind, stall it out, and get a Rotom into position. I think that's gotta be in the back of our mind the whole time. If the Tailwind does go up from the Whimsicott, and the Gyarados is out on the field. We just gotta make sure that we are kind of planning ahead. So we can stall it out and get Rotom in. Um, and this may be the discrepancy of the team, like the way I'm looking at it. Like maybe we need to use utilize Whimsicott a little bit more on our side. Um, it would definitely help us match speed control on my opponent's side of the field. Uh, and, and one of the issues, obviously, is going to be the fake tears. Uh, Whimsicott could come out and do a bunch of just annoying things, especially with that Duraladon next to it. Um, but the fake out does help with that for sure. Fake out definitely helps with that. So let's see what my opponent's going to do here. Raichu and Gyarados. Okay. Well, I don't mind that too much. I have to be a bit careful with the Gyarados, of course, because um, <coughs> it does have access to power. It can be a bit of a pain. Um, Raichu, I think. Probably. The thing is, if I don't max with Lapras, I could potentially just go for a, a freeze dry into the Gyarados. But I probably want to just actually not even bother with that and go for Mag Punch and go for the G Max Resonance into the Raichu. If I can get rid of the Raichu, it means that we open the door up to utilize our Thunderbolt against the opposing Gyarados. I think top probably gets baked out here. We could see an airstream as well into us, potentially. Um, but if we get Lapras set up with the resonance, um, then it'll be all right. So. Let's see what happens. So there's a fake out from the right. That's into the Lapras. Okay, we get the we get the Mag Punch off. That's huge for us. Even if we lose him on top now, that's not too bad because uh, we're going to be potentially able to get rid of the Raichu now, which is pretty big. Uh, there's the airstream. Can top take this? No. Okay. I didn't think we would be able to. Not even minus one. There's a speed boost for the Gyarados though. It's all about getting rid of this Raichu. That's the thing, we need to get rid of it. The problem is that it probably has a Sash. Oh, it's Moxie Gyarados. <laughs> That's not what we want to see. And it's life orbed as well. Wow, okay. Okay, so, right, we'll get the resonance off into the Raichu. Get rid of it there's no sash there so it does open the door for us to actually start getting some damage off onto this gyarados it's going to be a bit tricky though because the gyarados oh, of course it has the air balloon you did see that at the start um huh. extra drill is probably the better option for us just because it's got the sash there's no weather up at the minute like hail to kind of make it awkward for us so um okay that's fine that's fine that's fine 
I, yeah, we're going to be able to. We're definitely going to be able to get uh, Thunderbolt off 100%. So there's the Intimidate. That's fine. Uh, probably have to protect Excadrill here. I don't really want to just give it up for free. And there's no point in switching Rotom in on potentially a Max Geyser that's coming out from the Gyarados either. Unless the only thing that I can think the Gyarados maybe wants to try and do is go for a um, the Max Grass move into Lapras here. Still don't think it's going to be enough to take us down though because it's only it's neutral attack at the minute, even with the Life Orb uh, and the Aurora Veil support up. I don't think it's going to be enough. And yeah, there's a the Max Overgrowth. So we could have got away with going for an attack. Ah, oh, we take that so comfortably. And the Thunderbolt's going to be more than enough to take down the Gyarados. There's no way Gyarados takes this uh, attack. And then, potentially with our last turn with the Lapras, we could maybe take down the Incineroar. But it all depends on my opponent's last Pokemon. Uh, if we're in a position to do that, that'd be nice. Incineroar generally don't carry Protect. Um, so, we should have a kind of a free shot into it there. Might say a parting shot. Um, or you turn into Lapras now. It would be a nice idea to do that. So you've got the fake out active the next turn as well. Makes it a bit easier. But we're just seeing the Flare Blitz into the Lapras and just tanking it. Tanking it. Because Lapras is just a tank. So strong. So strong. Okay. Right. Nine Tails coming in. Um, I mean, it's kind of fine now, isn't it? It really, it really is fine. Gets the hail up. But, I mean, an Iron Head into the Nine Tails and a Max Geyser into Incineroar. I don't really feel like there's much my opponent can do. They can go for their Aurora Veil here. Yeah, but is Incineroar going to be able to take a plus two Max Geyser? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Nine Tails, no Sash, just straight down. Um, back in like 2017, Ninetales was last really popular within the format. Um, it used to run Sash quite a lot and then got bulkier as the format went on and had one of the 50% berries. So they were the kind of two common items as well as Light Clay. Um, but no Sash there and the Incineroar unfortunately cannot take the Aurora Veil and we do take it down and that is a nice quick game for us to um, finish up with and we do finish with 2 and 0 so that's perfect for us but good game to you and um, and really showcasing the power of the Lapras in that last one so that was a really nice game for us to end with today and like I promised my friends um, now we don't we don't need to see that do we so we'll, we'll come out like I did promise I would do the rental code for you for this team now if you do try it out please uh give me a shout out on twitter just to let me know how you've been getting on with it what you found about the team or comment down below just let me know if you want to follow me over on twitter though i am at osiris vgc uh, so manage uh teams to share that's what we want to do we want to manage some teams to share wow we need to get rid of some teams um okay which one uh i think we'll get rid of uh, this one because ah uh, what don't make it public okay yes we'll take it away <laughs> we've got two team fives that makes sense how's, it, how's that even working okay so that's empty now we'll select a team and i'll pop in this one so there we go my friends how can i why is it not yes make it public there we go okay i was just checking it check it just to make sure um yeah the only thing i would maybe do is change the earthquake to high horsepower although the earthquake is super handy in some situations and it can really um kind of clinch out wins um, in certain situations it's it's tricky probably high horsepower is a bit more consistent but there is the rental team my friends have a lot of fun with it i hope you enjoyed uh, G Max Lapras on the channel this week. We, we will be playing it on stream as well all week, uh, so there might be some extra episodes uh, later on this week with the team from the the stream highlights and things like that. Um, but we'll be playing something brand new next week, um, so do tune in for that. Leave a like, do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, and I will see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye bye.